Hey, what's going on everyone? Titus here. A little bit different video. Um, kind of going back to the old school match analysis style. Unfortunately, I got sick with COVID over the past week. My energy was really low. I haven't had a bunch of... I didn't have enough time to stream the ranks and all that stuff like I usually do. So I just saved some replays in Diamond um as i could up until the friday as as i was feeling it um I, my brain was not working very well uh dealing with COVID at the same time so we are going to check out a match against my branded despia deck and cyber so then we'll do the deck profile after this talk a little bit about it and all of that stuff so let's go ahead and get into it um our opening hand is crazy um cross out ash maxi and perm branded fusion like this is full combo, one, two, three pieces of interaction, right? This is this is like this is like really, really, really. So they're gonna head and summon diameter, going to link disciple, right? Okay, so then they're gonna reveal, reveal parallel exceed. We're gonna max C here. This is great. We're gonna get free pluses, easy peasy. They have called by so. While called by sucks that so we don't get the pluses, it means called by can't be used on our turn either because it negates it for the next turn. So while a loss, we're not going to get pluses, a little bit of a win, we're not also going to get hit at the same time because we still have two pieces of follow-up. Don't forget, we still have Imperm, we still have Ash. So go ahead and speed this animation up a little bit parallel x seed then summon the other one with the other parallel x seed we could have ash there but not really that worth it they're gonna go ahead and go to devotee this is why we didn't ash they're going to devotee one disciple two tribute off add set one back then this is going to activate because it was tributed to summon a token so we have our two tokens here okay now we go into wicked this is more what you want to interact with um, they go ahead and grab a Bailing, so Wick Cable Trigger, Banishing X Seeds, Chain Link 2, Bailing. So we're actually going to hit the Wick Kid here with the Imperm because this kind of stops. They have two cards in hand. They set one back, and we know they're about to get the Sanctuary. So it's not really going to do too much. So these two cards have to be some kind of extender for us to really worry about it here. And so we're going to go ahead and hit this with the Imperm. Phalanx goes ahead and grabs the Sanctuary. There's the Extender. Gonna go ahead and go into an Alumbration here. Uh, this is going to get Ash. Gonna go ahead and Ash that. They're gonna set one and then pass. So this is... This is this isn't that bad for us. This is probably some kind of Imperm or other interaction of some sort. Um, and then um, this doesn't really do anything. This Alan Burchard really doesn't do anything. What we have to really worry about here is the Wicked. Um, so that's kind of a problem. But we know we're not getting Ashed because he said all of his cards. So this Crossout Designator really doesn't matter too much. Um, if this is an Imperm, our cross act Designator will do really, really well. So, we'll go ahead and draw for turn here. Uh, Polly is just discard fodder at this point. So go ahead and Branded Fusion, sending Albaz and Tragedy. Go ahead and summon our, our Lubellion. Lubellion will be chain link one, discard in the cross out, Tragedy chain link two. And it's a droplet. Yeah, so... Cross out would have been nice um, to stop the droplet, but we'll have some extension here. We'll be okay. They sent a spell anyway, so we would have been able to, to cross out it since they sent the spell. So it actually doesn't matter, right? We're going to go ahead and grab Aluber. Seeing Dragon will be negated, that's fine. Summon a Luber, activate effect of a Luber. Grab Brandon in red. Pretty good, right? Activate the Brandon in red. Target the Tragedy. 
go into a Guardian Chimera. Okay. Guardian Chimera will pop two. Um, now, Wicked, here, here's here's the mess up. Um, Wicked can't be destroyed by card effects, and neither can the Cyber Slinks it points to. So while the this destroys the Alibertian, which is fine, right? Um, it doesn't actually do too much, because attacking into the Wicked doesn't really do anything here. Really at all. Um, what we should have probably done is attack into the bay links because there's no other bay links in grave right for the for the bay links protection and it gets so this can't be a link three into transcode talker or, or extension just in general right so it was actually better to probably attack into the salamander great bay links because of this card here cannot be destroyed this link summon card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects cyrus monsters this card points to cannot be destroyed by card effects we should have attacked into bay links Number one, it was more damage, actually, by 300. And number two, it gets another piece of material off the board so that Wicked couldn't go into Transco Talker and they just pop off into Access Code and stuff. So um, we did draw we did draw a Call by the Grave. Um, so we have to hope they don't draw any kind of extension. Um, but, I mean, it's a Cybers deck. The whole deck is extension. There it is. Balancer Lord is extension. Oh, 1,000 life points. Go into Splash Mage. And then this is where this gets out of hand, right? Because if we would have killed this Balinx, this Balancer Lord wouldn't have mattered. Um, he's banished, right? Yeah. This wouldn't have mattered. Um, I, I, He could have gone into maybe a Code Talker Inverted, um, but that's only another Link 1. The, the thing was, is we messed up because we couldn't... We needed to force him to not go into a Link 2. Um, the, the, the Wicked still would have triggered, right? The Wicked still triggers to do the add, but we just needed to not have the Link 2 here because now we have to worry about the Splash Mage's extension, right? So he's going to activate. We're going to target it with Diameter, right? Call by the Grave, target Diameter. But it doesn't matter because at this point, this is access code talker and more. Yep, there's transcode talker. Activate effect of transcode talker, target splash mage. There's access code. And that's game. Yep, we just die. <clears throat> so. We maybe would have forced a harder game from that opponent if we would have killed the Bay Lynx instead of killing the, uh, trying to kill the Wicked and then realizing that we couldn't actually have done anything with the Wicked anyway. So let's go ahead and go over the deck profile. Um, I have I have so many comments about this deck profile. It's crazy. Like it's crazy. So, um, let's go into this. Uh, we have one comedy, three tragedy. Three Aluber, one Dramaturge, one Adlib for our Despia monsters. Um, for our Albaz stuff, we have two Albaz and then a Tri Brigade Mercurier, which is part of the like the Albaz lore stuff, right? And then we have our three Edgemp Chain, our Snow, and then an Eldritch. This card actually is like this card comes in clutch so much. This card's really really good. Like, Branded Eldritch is a deck, and it's pretty consistent. Like, Brave Branded Eldritch. Um, you could do Brave Dogmatica Branded Eldritch. That's just a deck you can run, and it's really cool. Um, it's not so good in Master Duel because Nadir Servant is at one, but in the TCG, Nadir Servant just went to three. If you're looking to get into Yu-Gi-Oh!, Eldritch is kind of pricey, but not that bad. Branded, not that pricey, and Dogmatica stuff is pretty cheap. It's a good deck. <laughs> it's it's this, this card is really good. It works so well with all of the other cards in the deck, and then it outs problematic cards. Um, I mean, it can out the barrier statue, it can out back row, it can out whatever you need to get it off the to get off the field, and then you just revive it with one of the other ten spell cards you have. So I really really like Eldritch. Um, I think it's I think it's a really good card. Um, so we are playing hand traps in this because in Master Duel you want to play hand traps. 
you can't always go first. You can't rely on the engine to break the board, right? The engine's not always going to break the board. This deck is this this deck, well Branded is good at breaking boards, but not necessarily in Master Duel. Just be maybe now that Halk is gone, potentially. But if they set up something and you can't activate your Branded Fusion, plus they have hand traps in hand, people started to realize when they first played Branded that that was a bad idea. So the evolution of Branded happened when Branded first came out. People were playing like 50 cards. It was all Despia Branded Engine. It was all of that together. And people were winning because they didn't really know how to counter the deck. Then people started playing Ash Blossom's DD Crows, and that just kills this deck. Ash Blossom kills this deck. DD Crow kills this deck. DD Crow target the card that you that you target with Brandon in Red. Brandon in Red fizzles out. You can't resolve it. So you have to counteract that. You have to play hand traps that weaken the board state. Because if you can weaken the opponent's board state, you're going to win the game because of how strong the engine is. That's just kind of how the philosophy of this deck goes. I get so many comments being like, why are you playing 50 cards? You can trim this down, trim these things down. Don't play hand traps. No, you need them in Master Duel specifically. Unless you're playing 40 card Brave Eldritch, which MBT Yu-Gi-Oh has done on his channel, 40 card Brave Eldritch can be done and that's fine, but you're gonna lose a decent amount of time because you don't have the correct interaction. It just happens. A best of one is a completely different game. So, we are playing three Maxi, three Ash Blossom, and three Infinite Impermanence for our hand traps. That's still not enough in my opinion. Um, with Halk out of the format now, Didi Crow, not as necessary. Um, what's the other one? Uh, Ghost Bell, Nibiru, things like that. Those aren't being played. You can maybe start trimming this deck down a little bit now that Halk is gone. But with Halk still in the, in the picture, you couldn't trim this deck down. I wouldn't recommend it at all. You could trim some of the cards. Like this could be another Brandon in red. Like Dramaturge could be another Brandon in red because Brandon in red is just insane. Um, and then I'll have another build where I do the brave stuff and I'll show you that one soon. So, um... Those are our hand traps, nine of them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we have two poly, one foolish burial, three allure, because we need draw power and prosperity. Is it one in this game? Um, the allure is just better because it's more consistent since prosperity was at three in the TCG and now is at one in, in Master. So, uh, two patchwork, three brand infusion, one branded loss, two super poly, two call by the grave, one cross out. This is to make sure brand infusion goes um, to stop the ash blossom. We do have two Forbidden Droplet to break boards. We have three Brandon Opening. We have two Brandon Red. And then, of course, you already have those three um, Infinite Permanents. So that is the main deck. Then we have the Dragostopelia, the Titana Clad for getting over big, big boys. Um, this could be a third Albion if you really wanted it to be, but it's okay. Um, you have the two Albion, the Bird of Dragon, a Quarteris, two Masquerade, two Mirror Jade, two Lubelion, two... Guardian Chimera, one Proskinian. This could be Verte Anaconda. That's probably okay. Um, this has come up for me. It comes up in the mirror match, to be honest with you. This comes up in the mirror match a lot. Um, and then a Dark Charmer. And that is the deck profile. We are going to do a couple more of these videos with Branded, Elva Branded Despia. And we're going to do a couple Brave Despia as well. So I'm excited to show you that deck and that deck profile. So... Hit the subscribe button, like the video down below to keep up with our branded uh, evolution. And we're going to play a couple different variants of this deck, I think, because it's just pretty fun to do. So, that's going to be it for me. I made it through this whole thing without coughing. That's crazy. All right. Happy dueling, everybody.